here at the SID Display Week, and uh, who are you? I'm Andrew Scully. I'm the CEO of Imagine Corporation. And uh, you make micro display OLED micro displays, right? Yes, that is correct. So, uh, what's the latest with your products? Well, the latest, as one can see at SID, is that we're making very high brightness on an advanced backplane. So, if you talk to anybody in the VR or AR market, they will say, I want very high brightness in the VR because I want uh, low persistence. Uh, they also, therefore, need very high brightness display. Ours is now 5,000 nits. We're demonstrating here at uh, 5, SID. 5,000 nits. nits. So your Apple iPhone is rate, rated at 500. Does that mean it's 10 times brighter? Yes. Per square inch or? Well, per square area, yes. Yeah. And, uh, but isn't it too much to have so much brightness well, on, on, in remember a I said, display? Remember I said low persistence. What that means is if I have 120 hertz, I want to uh, put the uh, display on for a fraction of that. So 120 hertz is uh, eight milliseconds. I want the display on for one millisecond of that. That's about 10%. So therefore, when I'm running the display, it has to be 10 times brighter because the rest of the frame, it's off. 10 times 200 to the eye is what? 2,000. Now your uh, optics are not 100% efficient, are they? Let's say they're 50%. All of a sudden you need 4,000. That's why you need it. And this is OLED, the highest density OLED in the world? Well, pixel density, the display that we're showing is a 9.3 micron pixel pitch, so it's uh, like uh, oh, uh, 2,700. PPI, for example. We've made them uh, higher PPI than that. It sounds like 10 times more than an iPhone or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I know that there's an OLED, mic uh, OLED uh, direct view display that's under 600 PPI. So, um, ha have you, so you're the CEO of the company, and how long has it been uh, doing this kind of technology? Oh, we've been doing the technology since before me. Our first active matrix OLED display sold was 2001. That's before anyone else sold an active matrix display. And that was not for uh, head mounted, right? Well, yeah, because we sell to the uh, defense industry, which are all head mounted. So uh, you have experience in doing head mounted uh, for uh, high, high requirement markets, yeah. but are you moving into consumer with these yeah, kinds that, of That's the idea because of the very high brightness. The consumer market needs that. So do uh, some defense markets need that? And the displays are optimized for war head mounted. Well, yeah, they're uh, very high pixel density. There's uh, many folks who want a little higher brightness, uh, high brightness, of course, but also a little higher, a uh, little larger size. This is 2K by 2K? Well, the one we're showing is 2K by 2K, but we can go higher than that, of course. And how big is the screen? Well, the screen is uh, 19 millimeters, a little over 19 millimeter on a side, and that's the viewing area. All right, so um, uh, soon enough, everybody's gonna have this for AR. AR is a big future, right? Well, AR is a big future, but I kind of think the VR is going to come first. All right, and how's the power consumption compared to uh, other systems? The power consumption is fine. Depends on how you run it. What is the uh, what is the usage model is very important. The other thing is the reason the uh, defense market came to us in the first place is because of power consumption. And uh, here, the SID Display Week here in Los Angeles. So what, what's going to be uh, your goal here? What are you going to do? To connect with uh, companies that are going to well, buy we see, this, implement see, it? Well, we see what the technology is out there. I, if there are companies looking for displays, that's great. We also are demonstrating the 5,000 nit display, candela per meter squared, with an advanced backplane. The other thing the backplane does is global addressing. Every pixel goes on at once. And uh, having some presentations. Uh, yeah, there are uh, at least two of them by a colleague of mine. I have to go back to a board meeting, so I'm not going to do one. He's taking uh, my presentation for me.